Hello everyone and welcome back to Speed Typing. This is going to be a very epic video because in this video I'm going to be doing my first ever unboxing review of a mechanical keyboard and I've never typed on a mechanical keyboard in my life so this is going to be epic. I have here the Durgod Terrace K320 mechanical keyboard with cherry red switches. I'm going to be giving this review mainly from the perspective of someone who just wants to be able to type fast. I've only ever really typed on an Apple keyboard in my life. So this is going to be a really, really fun video. And if you want to buy this own keyboard yourself after watching my review, there's affiliate links down below in the description. So if you've ever wondered how you can support a YouTuber who is under a thousand subscribers, this is the way that you can do it. So if you are interested in buying this keyboard, please buy it through my affiliate link in the description down below. Okay, so let's get into the unboxing of this keyboard. have our starting guide right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, it looks like kind of a mouse pad. But here we have the actual keyboard, as you can see. I like the packaging that comes with this. I am really excited because this is the first ever time I've really touched a nice mechanical keyboard, let alone typed on a mechanical keyboard, period. So I'm going to be really excited to give this a go. I got the blue and gray um, keycaps instead of, I went for these instead of the dark gray and I believe it was black keycaps just to switch it up. And I got it, like I said earlier in the video with cherry red switches. So these are linear switches. Um, I'm not, I don't know too much about switches, but I do know that you have to press down a bit further than the normal switch, like tactile or clicky, clicky in order for your switch to register. Also included in the box, as you can see here, you have this key, um, kind of keycap cover that comes along with the packaging and on the underside you can see we have our cord to connect it to whatever computer or monitor you are using. You have another, I believe this is um, another type of cord to connect it to another type of computer. Then you have your tool here to take off your keycaps I believe and this is just another packaging and branding package here. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that comes in the package. Again, you have your keyboard, you have your connector cables, you have your keycaps cover, and you have this little bag here. So let's get into review of the actual keyboard um, itself. Okay, so let's move on to the actual keyboard itself. On first impression, this keyboard is very solid. Now, I've felt some cheap mechanical keyboards over the years, and they're so easy to pick up. They're so light. Um, and they don't they don't weigh anything, but I, I can already feel the amount of solid like keyboard that's in this as opposed to like my Apple Magic keyboard. Um, on first impression, it's not the one that you have the number pad, and I'm not used to the number pad anyway, so I don't care about that. I do use the numbers at the top. The cherry red switches um, and the linears in particular are going to take a while to get used to because again, I've never typed on a mechanical keyboard before, so I don't have the same sliding action I can use when I'm on an Apple Magic. But I believe that's good anyways because I tend to make errors anyways when I'm using that sliding action, and we can get into that later when I do the typing review itself. But on the back, you have these angled things so you can prop your keyboard up more if you would like, and you have two settings on these. And so if you look closely, you can see that I can switch this up if I want to. And then the keyboard is going to be higher up on my desk, so just at a different angle. The keycaps feel very solid; they feel like good quality. I'm not exactly sure how many hits, you, how many um, hits that you can get out of each individual switch, but they seem like it seems like a very, very durable keyboard overall. I believe this is aluminum casing. So yeah, overall, on the outside, this is a solid keyboard. Again, I've never touched a nice mechanical keyboard before, but if I were to touch a nice mechanical keyboard, I think that this is this is one that I'd be touching. I wanted to get this keyboard because I didn't want to get one of those cheaper gaming keyboards that are advertised as gaming keyboards because as someone brought to my attention, they have um, equivalent switches, okay? So they're not the actual switches. These have authentic cherry red switches. They aren't equivalent cherry red switches and I think that's something that's very important if you want to get a nice switch with your keyboard. Let's move on to the typing review.
So yeah, now I want to talk about how the keyboard felt overall after using it for about a couple days after I filmed the unboxing part. The first thing um, that I was able to notice was that I could adapt quite quickly to the keyboard, which was something that was, that was surprising. I thought I wouldn't be able to start getting high speeds until I got used to the keyboard for maybe about a week, but I was able to get, I think, about three or four 180 times 15 tests of monkey type, which is something that if like if I spent the time with my Apple Magic keyboard, I could do, but to be able to adapt to a mechanical keyboard that quick after never really using one was, it was pretty good for me. So and that's a definite pro for this keyboard, or at least maybe it's just me personally, how I'm able to adapt to one. Um, the second thing that I noticed was that I have developed some bad habits with an Apple Magic keyboard that I haven't noticed for a very long time. And the first one of those is sliding around on the keys. For example, when I found when I'm typing the word U, I'll type Y and then I'll slide to U and hopefully hit the O in between is something that I found. And obviously in a mechanical, you can't slide between keys. When I'm pressing down on a key, you can't be sliding when you're typing them, otherwise you're gonna be dragging on the key and it just doesn't feel nice overall. So that's something that the mechanical keyboard has definitely helped me correct and that is to stop um, when I'm sliding around on my words and that's gonna help me not only when I'm typing on a mechanical because I have to, but also when I'm typing on my Apple Magic keyboard, it's gonna help me become more accurate because I'm not making those um, guesses or taking those chances when I'm sliding around with my fingers. And that's another big pro that I found with the mechanical keyboard. Um, a negative from this mechanical keyboard is that obviously I can't be pressing down the, the um, keys as fast as I would an Apple Magic keyboard, so my bursting skills are down. Also, on Nitrotype, I wasn't able to achieve as high speeds. I was able to average about 160 words per minute, or closer to 157 words per minute non-quit when I was racing with Josh and Leafy for quite a bit um, earlier today, which, I, which felt really good on the mechanical keyboard. But again, I get those, those words that I'm used to typing on Apple Logic keyboard just, that just didn't work on my mechanical keyboard, and those races I'd get like 130 words per minute or 140. Though I could start getting my averages up to the usual 160, I found it much harder because I would have those bad races where I just couldn't type those words with my mechanical keyboard. So yeah, overall, I would say that if I had chosen a cheaper gaming keyboard, I don't think I would have liked it as much. So entering into the mechanical keyboard world, I'm glad I chose the Durgod Terrace K320. I'm happy with the switches. Um, I don't really care too much about the switches, but they seem fine. So yeah, the pros are I'm correcting some of my bad habits. It's not slowing me down whatsoever on longer tests, but I have seen a decrease in my bursting speed, and it's harder on nitro type. Um, because I'm used to sliding in a nitrotype, you're of course allowed to type gibberish, and as long as you have the right characters in there, it still are, will register it as a correct word. Um, but on nitrotype, my average speed was hurt a bit there. But overall, it's been a great keyboard, it's been a great experience using it. I would definitely recommend buying this yourself if you want to enter into the world of mechanical keyboards. And here's what I would tell you. Don't get a cheap mechanical gaming keyboard. And I'm gonna do a video on this later on, I think, about the differences between mechanical and membrane keyboards. But I think that if you're stuck with a Chromebook on um, like typing surface, right? Or maybe you're using like an iPad extendable thing, or you're using your Apple Magic keyboard or your default laptop keyboard, stick with that unless you wanna make an investment in a mechanical keyboard. This was the lowest priced keyboard that I could find on Amazon with authentic cherry switches. So if you want to go and buy a mechanical keyboard, make sure that you're buying one that's at least in this price range, which is I believe $100 United States, though it depends on the switches that you were getting. If you are at all interested in buying one of these mechanical keyboards and you want the same keyboard as me, because this is the keyboard I'm be using now. There's affiliate links for Amazon down below in the description. So if you want to support my channel and if you want a new keyboard, then please buy your keyboard through that link. Thanks for watching. This video was a lot of fun. I had lots of fun with my new mechanical keyboard. It's been a great experience. Type on.